Described as the closest thing to a Greek god since Apollo, George Connor is a true born and bred son of Chicago. He attended the historic De La Salle Institute on Chicago's South Side, graduating in the class of 1943. That same year, he was named second team All-American for his play at Holy Cross. Then, war struck America, and Connor served his patriotic duty in the United States Navy during World War II. Back from the war, George was selected by the New York Giants as the fifth overall pick in 1946. He declined the offer to attend the University of Notre Dame. He flourished, winning the first Outland Trophy, two national championships, and the honor of being captain of the undefeated 1947 team. The NFL was calling again, this time from his hometown Chicago Bears. Considered the best defensive bear during his career, he was referred to as football's first linebacker. In only eight seasons, he was named first team All-Pro five times and invited to the first four Pro Bowls. Bears head coach George Hallis said of Connor, we always set high standards for George Connor, and he exceeded them. Connor ranks as the 22nd greatest Chicago Bear of all time. His accolades didn't stop after his retirement in 1956. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1963 and the Pro Football Hall of Fame with the class of 1975. Connor is also part of the NFL's 1940s All-Decade team for his defensive excellence with the Bears. George Connor helped found the Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame. His legacy lives on through the George Connor Lifetime Achievement Award that is presented to those who exemplify invaluable contributions to the game of football, just as he did. Thank you.